guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Frankfurt, Germany at Music Messe 2015 in this loud ass hall where I can hardly hear anything, but trust me, you'll hear these cool pedals. We got Reese here from Bigfoot Engineering. Reese, you guys are based just outside of London? Yep, that's right. Everything's made in England. And, and you guys are here at Music Messe for the first time ever, right? Yeah, this is the first time in Europe. And you've got a whole line of, let's see, five pedals here that are sort of preampish overdrive pedals, is that right? That's right, yeah. So I used to design valve amplifiers, um, and the thinking behind this is they're more like preamps than normal pedals, so they're much more responsive. Okay, so uh, when we were coming in, you were playing, I think, the Octopus Prime. That's the one. Love the name. Thank you. So tell us about that. Uh, that one is a fuzz octave pedal, but it has a really wide frequency response, so you can do chords as well as just the, uh, the typical kind of Hendrix stuff. Okay. You could have told me it was anything, and I would have believed you, because I can't hear shit in here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so it's an, an octave fuzz, That's and uh, do you want to dial in a couple different sounds? or? Yeah. What was the inspiration for this pedal? Um, it really came about because I was fed up with octave pedals tracking too badly. They were so unpredictable. Sometimes it sounded like a ring modulator when I wanted it to be tracking cleaner. So it's just got a much higher frequency response. Okay. Now, uh, what should we look at next? Uh, we'll go along the line. All so right, the King Fuzz. Fuzz. Yeah. So this one here is being used by a lot of great players out there because of its dynamic response. Um, it cleans up exceptionally well. Sounds nice. Thanks. Now you mentioned uh, earlier a few players who are using this and the other pedals. I want you to name drop because they were pretty impressive. Cool. Uh, yeah, we've got Rich Robinson, Mark Ford, Jay Maskis, Warren Ellis. Um, the list goes on and on. I can't remember all the names right now, but. You said uh, Graham Coxon. That's it, Graham. yeah, Graham Coxon. All right, let's look at the Octopus. Cool. So this is unusual. It's completely passive, no batteries, no power supply. Um, it's essentially a clean octave up. You can combine it with boost, overdrive, distortion, or just a dirty amp, or you could use it with um, a, a pretty much anything, even modulation. So I'll show you it without any effects on first. And then with the fuzz. Rad. Are there any internal controls, trim pots or dip switches or anything? No, it all relies on what you're doing with the guitar and the kind of guitar you're using. It's very sensitive to all the settings on the guitar, the pickups, the tone co uh, controls, things like that. Okay, so what's next up there? The <laughs> Thunder Puff? Thunder Pup. That's the one. Uh, so this is a British inspired overdrive. You've got two modes, big amp, which is essentially a stack, and little amp, which is an open back combo. So this is the big amp. <laughs> okay, that sounds really good, man. Um, do you want to go to the next one, or did you want to dial anything else on the Thunder Pup? Uh, I'll show you the uh, little amp as well. It's got a little less compression, a bit more spring to it. Nice. 
All right, last up, Trouble Booster. Dig the name. Thank you. So yeah, this is a very early valve amp design. It, it essentially darkens the pickups a little bit, but it pushes them harder. Um, it's a dirty boost pedal, so I'll show you it in the normal mode, which is the flat frequency response. Uh, again, very responsive to the pickups and your volume control. Uh, and the bright mode, instead of adding treble, it cuts some of the low end, so you get a bit more detail. Very nice. How much, uh, what's kind of the price range for your pedal line? Uh, well, in England, they're ranging from about £109 to £129, um, Dollars, you're looking at around about $270 street price in the mid-range, and in Euros, about 150 to 200 Euros. Okay. Now, like in the States, or you're, you're uh, distributing through another supplier, the Oceamo? That's the one, yeah. So is that the place that people should go if they want to order, or do you want to, what website do you want to send people to? Um, on our website, bigfetengineering.com or Oceamo's website, which is oceamo.com, you can find the list of dealers. Um, so they'll probably be somewhere local to you where you can go and try them out for yourself. All right, awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Reese. Thank Guys, this is Reese from Bigfoot Engineering. I'm Sean from Premier Guitar. Thanks for watching.